Hi. In the last two sessions, we were discussed about the classification of group of order less than or equal to 15, except the group of order 12. In this session, we discuss about the classification of group of order 12. Let G be a group of order 12, but 12 is equal to 2 square into 3. Therefore, G has a silo, P, a silo 2 subgroup of order 4 and a silo 3 subgroup of order 3. Let P be a silo 2 subgroup of G and Q be a silo 3 subgroup of G. Let N2 is equal to the number of silo 2 subgroup of G and N3 is equal to the number of silo 3 subgroup of G. Then by the third silo theorem, N2 is look like 1 plus 2t, where t greater than or equal to 0, and n2 divides index of p in g. But index of p in g is equal to order of g upon order of p, which is equal to 12 upon 4, which is equal to 3. That means that 1 plus 2t divides 3. This is possible only for t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1. So in this case, n2 is equal to 1, or 3. Similarly, n3 is equal to 1 plus 3t and which divides 4 which is the index of q in g and therefore 1 plus 3t divides 4 and this is possible for the values of t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 1. Therefore, n3 is equal to 1 or 4. Therefore, in all there are 4 possibilities of among n3, n2 and n3. They are 1 and 1, 1 and 4, 3 and 1, and 3 and 4. So we show that the case when n is n2 is equal to 3 and n3 is equal to 4 is not possible. Suppose n2 is equal to 3 and n3 is equal to 4, that means there are 3 silo 2 subgroup and there are 4 silo 3 subgroups. So but the silo 3 subgroup contains, each silo 3 sub subgroup contains 3 elements and any 2 silo 3 subgroup intersect trivially. That means their intersection contains only single element, namely the identity element. And the other 2 elements of a silo 3 subgroup are of order 3. So in all, there are 8 elements of order 3 because there are 4 silo 3 subgroups and 2 elements of order 3 in each subgroup. Therefore, 8 elements of order 3 are in G. The remaining elements, 4 elements including identity element form a silo 2 subgroup. Because the silo 2 subgroup has order 4, G has a unique silo 2 subgroup. And therefore, N2 is equal to 1 which is not possible. Therefore, N2 is equal to 3 and N3 is equal to 4 is not possible. So we consider the other three cases. The case one is N2 is equal to 1 and N3 is equal to 1. That means G has a unique silo 2 subgroup and a unique silo 3 subgroup. That means P is the only silo 2 subgroup and Q is the only silo 3 subgroup. So because they are unique, they are normal in G. That means P and Q are normal in G. And also P is a silo 2 subgroup and Q is a silo 3 subgroup, therefore P intersection Q is equal to identity. Also, the number of elements in PQ is equal to order of P into order of Q upon order of P intersection Q, which is equal to order of P into order of Q is equal to 4 into 3, which is equal to 12, and that is same as order of G. But PQ is a subset of G, and the number of elements in PQ and G are same, therefore, G is equal to PQ. So we got P and Q to subgroup of G. They are normal in G. They intersect trivially and G is equal to PQ. Therefore, G is internal direct product of P and Q. That is, G is isomorphic to P cross Q. Now, since P has four elements and that means P is a group of order four, P is isomorphic to Z4 or Z2 cross Z2. As we see, in the last lecture. Also, Q contains three elements. That means Q is a group of order three. Therefore, Q is isomorphic to Z3. 
So therefore both P and Q are abelian groups. So and since P and Q are normal subgroup and P intersection Q is equal to identity, we can see that A, B, A inverse, B inverse is belongs to P intersection Q and therefore A, B, A inverse, B inverse is equal to identity, therefore A, B is equal to B. That means any A in P and B in Q, A, B is equal to B. Also P and Q are normal and among the elements of P and Q, they commute. Therefore, G is equal to PQ is ambilian group. Therefore, G is equal to P cross Q and P can be either Z4 or Z2 cross Z2. So, we have G is isomorphic to Z4 cross Z3 and Z4 cross Z3 is congruent to Z12 because 4 and 3 are co-prime. Also, G is isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2 cross Z3 but Z2 cross Z3 is equal to Z6 because 2 and 3 are co-prime. Therefore, G is congruent to Z2 cross Z6. Therefore, there are two abelian groups of order 12, namely Z12 and Z2 cross Z6. So, we consider the other case N2 is equal to 1 and N3 is equal to 4. That means G has unique silo, P, silo 2 subgroup and there are four silo 3 subgroups. Let the four silo 3 subgroups be Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 and P be the unique silo 2 subgroup. Suppose G acts on X is equal to set of all silo 3 subgroups of G by conjugation. This action induces a homomorphism phi from G to S, X. That means set of all permutations on X. Because X contains only four elements, S, X is isomorphic to S4. Suppose G belongs to kernel of phi. That means that phi of G is equal to identity permutation on X. That means phi G of QI is equal to QI4 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to 4. That means g q i g inverse is equal to q i for 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to 4. That means g belongs to n q i normalizer of q i for 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to 4. Since n3 is equal to 4, we have in the proof of silo 2 subgroup, we got n3 is equal to index of n q i in g. That means that 4 is equal to order of G by order of NQI. Therefore, the order of NQI is equal to order of G by 4, which is same as 12 by 4, which is 3, and which is same as order of QI. That means the number of elements in N of QI, normalizer of QI and QI are same, and QI is a subgroup of N of QI. Therefore, both the groups are same. That means N of QI is equal to QI for all QI. So that means G belongs to QI for all I. So G belongs to intersection of QI. But intersection of QI is equal to identity. So G is equal to identity. That means that kernel of phi is equal to identity. That means phi is an injective map. Therefore, G is isomorphic to phi of G and that is a subgroup of S4. Now since order of P is equal to 4, P can be isomorphic to Z4 or Z2 cross Z2. So if P is isomorphic to Z4, that means P is a cyclic group of order 4, let A be a generator of P. And Q is a silo 3 subgroup, so it is a cyclic group, so let B be the generator of Q. Since P is a normal in G because N2 is equal to 1, we have B A B inverse belongs to P, which is equal to the cyclic group generated by A. That means that B A B inverse is equal to A raised to I for some I in between 0 and 3. Because B cube is equal to 1, because Q is of order 3 and B is the generator of Q, B cube is 1. So we can write A is equal to B cube into A into B raised to minus 3 
which I can write it as b square into b into a into b inverse into b raised to minus 2. But b a b inverse in between is same as a raised to y. So we can write it as a is equal to b square a raised to y into b raised to minus 2. This again you can write it as b into b a raised to y into b inverse into b inverse. So the middle b a raised to y b inverse you can write it as b a b inverse raised to y. So therefore but b a b inverse is same as what a raised to y. Therefore we have a is equal to b into a raised to y raised to y into b inverse. That means b into a raised to y square b inverse which is same as b a b inverse raised to y square but b a b inverse is same as a raised to y so we get it is same as a raised to y cube. Therefore, a raised to i cube minus 1 is equal to identity. But order of a is equal to 4. Therefore, 4 divides i cube minus 1. This is possible only if i is equal to 1. That means that in this case, a, b is equal to b, a. That means g is abelian group. If g is abelian, then all subgroups are normal. So, all silopi subgroups are unique. But here, we are having three silo four silo three subgroups four silo three subgroups so which is not possible so g cannot be abelian therefore p is not congruent to z4 that means p is not isomorphic to z4 therefore p is isomorphic to z2 cross z2 so every element of p is of order to accept the identity element therefore each element y in P maps to a 2 2 cycle in S4. And that 2 2 cycle is an even permutation. So, therefore, this element belongs to A4. Also, since N3 is equal to 4, that means G contains 8 elements of order 4. So, if X is an element of order, G contains 8 elements of order 3. So, if X has order 3, then phi of X is a permutation of order 3 in S4 and that permutation is an even permutation. Therefore, G is isomorphic to phi of G and every element of phi of G is contained in A4. Therefore, G is isomorphic to phi of G which is contained in A4. But the number of elements in G and number of elements in A4 are same and the same as 12. Therefore, G is isomorphic to A4. Now we consider the third case, which is saying that n2 is equal to 3 and n3 is equal to 1. That means G has a unique silo 3 subgroup and there are 3 silo 2 subgroups. So in this case Q is normal but P is not. Therefore G is isomorphic to semi-direct product of Q and P under phi where phi is a map from or a homomorphism from P to automorphism of Q by the conjugation phi of p of q is equal to p q p inverse. So if q is equal to the cyclic group generated by y, that means y is a generator of q, then y q is equal to e because order of q is equal to order of y which is equal to 3. Therefore, there are only two automorphisms of q. So namely, the identity map and the automorphism y goes to y square. So, P is of order 4, so P can be a cyclic group of order 4 or P is isomorphic to Z4 or P can be Z2 cross Z2. So, we first to consider the case P is a cyclic group of order 4. That means, suppose X is a generator of P, that means P is equal to the cyclic group generated by X and X raised to 4 is 1 because order of P is equal to order of X is 4. Because you know that the silo 2 subgroup is not unique, the G cannot be abelian. Because if so, then G has all, all subgroups are normal. And in particular, G has a unique silo 2 subgroup, which is not possible. Therefore, G is not abelian. Therefore, XY is not equal to YX. That means that XY X inverse is not equal to Y. Therefore, the conjugation by X is not a trivial automorphism of Q. Therefore, x y x inverse must be y square. This relation defines a group of order 12 
That means G is in this case is generated by X and Y with order of X is 4 and order of Y is 3, 1, sorry, order of Y is 3 and X, Y, X inverse is equal to Y square. So we got uh, the fourth group which is of order 12. Now suppose P is isomorphic to Z2 cross Z2. Because there are only two automorphisms of Q, there is an element W in P which is non-identity such that phi of W of Y equal to Y. That means that W Y W inverse is equal to Y for all Y belongs to Q or W Y is equal to Y W for all Y belongs to Q. Since G is not abelian, there is also an element V in P such that phi of V of Y is equal to Y square for all y belongs to q. That means v y v inverse is equal to y square for all y in q or v y is equal to y square v for all y in q. So therefore p is e equal to 1 v w and v w with v square w square is equal to 1 and v and w commute. Therefore the element if I take x is equal to w y then it has order 6 because w, y, w and y commute and order of w is equal to 2 and order of y is 3 and therefore order of x is equal to order of w and order of y which is equal to 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. And also vx v inverse is equal to v w y v inverse because x is equal to w y and w v and v w commute VW are same, therefore VW is equal to WV and YV inverse. But VY is equal to Y square V, so we get which is equal to WV, WY square V, V inverse, which is equal to WY square, which is equal to Y square W because W commute with Y square. That means that X inverse, which is same as X inverse, because because uh, the y square w into wy which is equal to y square w square y but w square is 1 therefore the y, y square identity into y which is y cube y cube is 1 so y square w into x is equal to identity that means y square w is the inverse of x inverse of, because x raised to 6 is identity x inverse is same as x raised to 5 therefore g is the group generated by x and v with order of x is 6 and order of v is equal to 2 and v x is equal to x raised to 5 in v so this group is isomorphic to d6 so therefore in all there are 5 isomorphism classes of group of order 12 namely the first one we have seen is Z12 which is isomorphic to Z4 and uh, cross Z3 and the second one we have seen is Z2 cross Z2 cross Z3 which is a uh, isomorphic to Z2 cross Z6. Third one is A4 and fourth one is the group generated by S and Y with order of X is 4 and order of Y is 3 and X, Y, X inverse is equal to Y square. And the fifth group is D6. So in all, there are five isomorphism classes of group of order 12. And the first two are abelian and the, the last three are non-abelian groups. That's for all. So in the next session, we discuss about the symbol groups. Thank you.